trying to relax, but I'm so excited. I'm going to pick up the new camera. Yeah! Today's the day. The driveway will not be empty in about four hours. Woohoo! Can you tell I'm a little excited? Oh man, my screen's all fogged up. It's because it's cold inside and extremely hot out here. I gotta get moving. I gotta get my hitch on. Gotta move my son's vehicle. Gotta get my weight distribution. And head out. See you soon. Monday, and we are so excited because we just brought our new camper home. We did. So here is your first view of what we purchased. 2018 26 RK Jayco Whitehawk. Ah, what did I say? I'm not even close to that. <laughs> All right, we'll just do a quick walk around, and then we will do another video. Uh, of the inside. Oh, you're crooked. So, so sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm hot. Look at that beautiful windshield on the front. Our bed is right under that so we can lay there and look at the stars. Guy's loving life. He's in his oh Mercedes. He's he just threw away recycling. He's blaring Tony Bennett. It's great. All right, let's get back to this. The Jayco White Hawk 26 RK. The first reason I fell in love with this, which I know is a stupid reason, but it's that windshield. That windshield is just awesome. The bedroom has so much light. I'm actually kind of afraid it might have too much light now. Uh, these lights here, the two little ones and the long ones are blue. It's kind of neat. Which, that's just a rubber. Uh, LED light in there and it's just in a track so that popped out. I hope it doesn't continue to pop out. These are blue and then you have your running lights up on top. But I just love that windshield. And when you are laying in bed you can see probably about from here up it kind of curves over you and you can see straight up to watch the stars. Um, what I do love about the tongue of this over the chaparral is, for one, it's a heck of a lot beefier. Um, this is kind of cool. They put a holder for your uh, pigtail. And when that's not in there, you could probably stick a flagpole in there if you wanted to. I love that everything's black because black shows less dirt. My light, obviously, like everything else. We are going to get a bike rack that you unbolt these three and put the bike rack down and then this back on and bolt it all back together. Then it holds your bikes right up here rather than the rack we have for the bumper because you're not supposed to put anything on those bumpers. Um, let's see, there's my solar prep. That's what they consider solar prep is the little connection right here. It's not really prepped like on the roof, but you could put the portable ones out. Um, so the front end, that's about it. I just love it. Our basements, I don't know if I left this unlocked. Oh yeah, I did. Our basements are huge. Probably can't even see in there. Oh, that's how you turn the blue lights on. There they are. And then there's a light up in here. So, yeah, you really can't see much. 
This is cool. It's a slot for a 2x4 table. And you can pop that in there. Oh, look. The first bit of damage. Take it back. Take it back. I just made it worse. Whatever. Throwing a table in there. You don't think that's going to get binged up anyways? Uh, got an outlet. Got styrofoam everywhere. And my cord is way over there on the other side. So that's the basement. A lot bigger than the chaparral. The chaparral was only about that big. Huge. I don't know if this is going to be good or bad. Huge 20 foot awning. I've had lots of awnings, but never 20 foot long. So we'll see how that goes. Frameless windows. They're very nice, but I wish they opened further. They don't open that much. This is a uh, mount. You can just pop the TV off in the bedroom, pop it in there, plug it into your satellite or cable or antenna, whatever, outlets. That is the lock for the outdoor kitchen. We did not necessarily even want an outdoor kitchen because of how many problems we had with the other one. But this one just comes with it. So this goes up. It's like any small outdoor kitchen. This is kind of weird type of connection. Uh, Jayco, it kind of seems flimsy, but it's new from Jayco. And the object is, the purpose of this is if that were to get stuck or something pulled on something, that's a ball joint. You see that ball just pops out so it doesn't rip this off the side of your camper. It's actually pretty smart. Um, it does go in there pretty good. So that's that. <clears throat> Alright, so here's the outdoor kitchen. Little fridge for all your beverages and party needs. Uh, here's the other thing that we're going to do. The fridge has no way to shut it off unless you open up an access panel on the entertainment system. And I don't want to do that every time we want to turn this off. Because if we leave this plugged in for more than a few hours here at home, and then when we're done, this fridge has cooled down, and, you know, if you don't open them back up, they can get moldy and everything else. So, uh, I found where the plug goes in behind, and what I'm going to do is just mount a small power strip back in here and rerun the cord to it from the refrigerator and that way you can just leave it off that way if you plug electricity in for a few hours or whatever you don't have to remember oh i gotta go out and open up that fridge and then this pulls out which is i don't know i like it but it's just hinges and big drawers like this and things being outdoor more things that can go wrong but i do love it it's pretty fancy. This powers a blue light under there. And then under here you have a light somewhere. And you can probably put a good bit of stuff back in there. That is the uh, LP hose for the stove. Two burner stove with wind guards. Pretty nice. Um, and it does, those struts are, you can, you can hear them. They're strong. So, I don't know, maybe this will be pretty nice thing to have and the door is small enough that if it ever did get warped like our other door um, it's not gonna cost me $800 to replace it for my speakers up top and a lot of people say oh they're better when they're down low but I don't think so because if you're sitting here they're right at your ears you're they're right at head level blasting you so I like them up high that way it's out of the way so when you just want a little background music and still talk let's see that's my water fill which is great because our chaparral did not have a water fill it had to be pushed in by pressure so we had this whole system where we had to get a jug out put water in it and then have a pump run the pump up to the battery there's gonna be an accident out front 
the heck's going on? Everybody stop. Don't know. Anyways, it was just this huge pain in the butt because we had to get the pump out, pump the water in any time we were at a location that didn't have full hookups. So here we can just take our six gallons, pour it right in there, easy as can be. Uh, let's see, what else do we have on here? Oh, the key to like, that's awesome. So everything you open is the same key. Um, my low point drains are right there, easy to get to. There's a secondary LP in case you want to put a grill on the bumper back here. I do not. I have these, I just took them off so that uh, we can put our drain hose in there. And then this is something that you never really think of until you think of it. Having the kitchen on the back, all of that heat that's coming out of your water heater, your refrigerator, and your furnace, and your range hood is all coming out the back of the camper. Now, of course, if the wind is blowing that direction, you're going to get that heat coming around the corner, but on our chaparral, it was all conveniently right there where the outdoor kitchen is, <laughs> and every time you sat there, you know, you had the sound, you had the heat coming out. In the wintertime, it was great because you had the heat coming out of that furnace vent. Yeah, we always huddled around the furnace vent, so we'll just have to huddle around it back here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, there's my 50 amp hookup, another satellite for, or I mean, uh, that's where you connect to your cable and satellite. Low point drain. These are the Endurance Goodyear nitrogen filled tires. Shower, which is nice. I have a light here by the shower. Never had one of those before, so at night, if you have to come back here and wash something off, at least you have a little bit of light. Uh, city hookup. We have two gray water tanks, one for the bathroom, one for the kitchen, and then we have our black, and there's a drain. This is, what is this? Oh, this is black flush. Yeah, I forgot about that. Black flush. The other side, there's my power. Thick, thick door panels. Mine were half this thick on the chaparral. I like that. Feels, feels better. And these are slam locked or whatever they are. Slam shut? I don't know what they're called. Oh, frameless windows. So that is the outside tour of our Jayco Whitehawk. I hope you liked it. And I'm going to wait to do an inside tour until Heather's here. That way I don't have to be the only person on screen. And she's a better talker. So she doesn't get off till 8 tonight. And I'm not sure when we will record it. But it should be soon. There you go. You guys all know what we got now. Sorry it's not an Airstream. And sorry it's not a fifth wheel. But this is right for us. It's right for us now. We were able to get it now. And I think we're going to love it. Huge upgrade from what we had. Talk to you all later.